In today's lesson, we'll be talking about energy flow in ecosystems. And energy is important for plants and animals. They need it to survive. And it's important to understand where this energy comes from as well as how it transitions through the ecosystem to all the different organisms that need it. Ultimately, all the new energy going into an ecosystem comes in the form of sunlight. And the sun provides this light energy and heat energy to ecosystems and particularly to the plants in the ecosystem. Through this process of photosynthesis, plants actually use the sunlight to produce chlorophyll, which serves as food for their plants, and it's also what gives the plant its green color. In an ecosystem, there's many types of animals that are plant eaters. So as they eat the plants, they get the energy that these plants have produced from sunlight and use it to provide energy for their bodies. Other types of animals, however, don't eat plants. They actually get their energy from eating other animals in the ecosystem. So we have these different types of organisms in the ecosystem that eat different things, and we're able to classify the different organisms based on what they eat or based on how they get their food. The first classification of organisms are called producers. And producers are organisms that make their own energy, or rather make their own food using the sun's energy, through this process of photosynthesis, which of course producers will be your plants in the ecosystem. Ultimately, producers are the source of all the food in the ecosystem because the energy goes from the sun to the plants, the plants produce food from that sunlight. Organisms that don't produce their own food but rather get energy from eating other organisms are called consumers. Now, when we say eating other organisms, they could be eating plants, they could be eating animals, or they could be eating some of both. And we can classify consumers based on specifically what they eat. Our three groups of consumers include herbivores, which only eat plants, carnivores, which only eat meat, and the third category is omnivores, which eat a combination of plants and animals. Humans, for example, are om omnivores. Most humans might eat meat, they might eat vegetables or fruits or other plants, but we survive by eating a combination of the two. The final group of organisms in the ecosystem are the decomposers. And decomposers have a very important job. They actually break down waste and return the energy back into the ecosystem. For example, if leaves fall off a tree, those leaves are broken down by decomposers. The energy that was contained in those leaves is put back into the soil eventually to provide fertilizer essentially for trees. When animals die, decomposers break them down, return the energy from those organisms back into the environment so that it you know, doesn't just sit there, dead things piling up. That would be very bad for the ecosystem if there were no decomposers to break those down and recycle the energy. So we have three major classifications of organisms. Those include, once again, the producers using sunlight to make their own food, consumers, which eat the producers or other consumers, and decomposers, which are essentially nature's recyclers, putting the energy from dead things back into the ecosystem so that it can be reused and recycled.